Hi everyone, welcome to a tutorial class on English language brought to you by O3 Schools Jam app. So today we're going to be looking at direct and indirect speech. Direct and indirect speech. Now when we say direct speech, We're talking about repeating the exact words of the speaker or whoever said it. The exact same thing the person said. No additions, no omissions, nothing. Just the same way the person said it. That's direct speech or quoted speech. It's also called quoted speech. And it involves repeating the exact words. The exact words of the speaker word for word the same way the person said it you repeat it the same way without changing anything you didn't add you didn't subtract you quoted the person let's put it that way you quoted the person's speech therefore indirect or reported speech or reported speech this one involves repeating it in your own words you are still passing across the same message but this time you are paraphrasing so repeating the message in your own words you are still passing across the same message, but this time you are using your words to pass across what someone else has said or what someone said. You are repeating it in your own words, trying to explain to probably someone that was not there. Okay, this was what the person said. So if you are saying it in the same exact words, most times we do that for emphasis. If you want to emphasize that this one is not from me now, or I'm not adding, no, this is what the person said. So you repeat. The person's weight exactly without us changing anything. Direct speech. But when you're not using your own words to explain what someone said, we're not call that reported speech. And now to represent direct speech, we use what quotes to demarcate the petty speech from the other part of the sentence. So if we have, for example, I am busy. So this is the word, the exact thing the person said, put it in quotes, said Mary. This is direct speech. This is how we represent the direct speech in quotes. Said Mary or Mary said can come before, it can come in the middle, it can come in at the end, but you must quote the word, the speech, to differentiate it from the other part of the sentence. So however you want to write it, you can say, Mary said, I am busy. Take notes, the, what is it for? The, the speech should always be in word, in quote, and it should begin with a capital letter. The first word inside your quotation mark should begin with a capital letter. Same thing for this one too. This is even a proper noun and to start in the sentence, it should be in a capital letter. Then whatever is beginning, the quote should also be in capital letter. This is still what direct speech. Or well, if you like, you can break the speech and put maybe say at the middle. As long as whatever it is the person said, you are putting it in quotes to indicate that this is direct speech. Therefore, in direct speech, you now have Mary said that she was busy. This is now the sentence in indirect speech or reported speech. There we have it. No quotation marks. Then we introduce that, although that isn't compulsory. 
You can say Mary said she was busy. Okay, Mary said that she was busy. If you like, you can what introduce that for indirect or reported speech. There are no quotation marks in indirect speech because you're not repeating what someone said the same way. You're what you're quoting. I mean, you are paraphrasing rather. That is indirect or reported speech. So let's look at how to change between the two. How do we convert direct speech to indirect speech? How to convert direct speech to indirect speech? Lots of factors we consider here in converting from the direct speech to the indirect speech. We consider a lot of factors. So let's look at those factors one after the other. First, we have pronouns pronouns in the sentences we have to what to change them from the subject person to the object person object pronouns what will change them so look at the sentence if we have you have done your work This is in quotes, comma, she said. This is in a direct speech. See pronouns here, you, wait, is a pronoun. So for us to convert to the indirect speech, we still leave, we change the word, the pronoun, because this person is not the one talking again. Someone else is paraphrasing. So this becomes, she said that they had done their work. Full stop. No quotation marks in indirect speech. Take notes. Subject remains what subject. Then object remain becomes what the object pronoun. So if we are changing, this becomes I most like most times becomes he or she. If you have I in the sentence, then you, if it's in the subject position, becomes he or she or they. Just as we saw here, you change into what today because the, the, this here was referring to more than one person. You know, you can be plural, it can also be singular. Then, if it is in the object form, it's when we have it this way. If it is in the, I mean, subject, if you is representing subjects. It's a noun change to either he, she, or they. Then if you is in the object position, it changes to him or her or them. It is in the object. Then if you have we, it changes to they. Us changes to them. Mine becomes his or hers. She also have my, his or her, as becomes theirs in sentences. So these are ways pronouns can change if you're changing from direct to indirect speech. If you have this in the direct speech, it changes to any of these in your indirect speech. After pronouns, we also consider reporting verbs. Reporting verbs are is a major thing that we consider when converting from the direct to indirect speech. 
So with our former example, I am busy. Said Mary. This is the important thing. Sorry, at least my comma. So this one here can be said, asked, commanded, ordered, whatever is here. That is the word, the reporting verb. So we usually consider it to what change from direct speech to indirect speech. It tells us how we should what deal with the tense in the speech that is quoted. We look at this to know how to what deal with the tense here. So let's start quickly. If the reporting verb is in the present tense. If it is in the present tense, we do not have a problem. We leave the word in the tense like that. So if you have, for example, I did not cook the food, says Mary. This is in the words, this is the reporting verb, and it is in the present tense. So since it's in the present tense, we leave the tense in the speech or in the quote, we leave it that way. We do not change the tense. So to, to have it in indirect speech becomes, Mary said she did not cook the food. This is our indirect. So we have it what did remains what did. We don't tamper with the sentence. If the reporting verb is in the present tense. So if the reporting verb is in the past tense. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, the tense in the quote will change. So we have present tense changing to past tense. Past tense changing to past participle or perfect tense. You have present perfect. Changing to past perfect. These are the tenses in the speech. They will change as follows. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, then we also have future tense. Changing to past tense as so. And Present continuous, right? Changing to past continuous. Continuous tense. In the indirect speech, then we have past continuous or progressive tense. We also have past continuous tense changing to past perfect continuous. Then our past perfect doesn't change. So if the, sent, if the reporting verb is in the past tense, the verbs in the quote 
we'll change this way from present tense we'll change it to past tense if it's in in the past tense we change it to past participle or the perfect tense present perfect changes to past perfect future tense we change it to the past tense present continuous or present progressive we change it to the past continuous tense same thing for past continuous tense and when the past perfect tense remains the same so let's look at examples with each of this the present tense that would be let's say I am happy. Don't forget your quotes and your comma. She said. This one now can begin with a small letter since it's at the end. If it's at the beginning, you would have started with a capital letter. She is not a, a proper noun, so there's no need to word, write it. So in conversion, this is direct speech. Like I said, the reporting verb here is said. Is in the past tense. So we change the tense here accordingly. This one is present tense. Present tense changes to past tense. So this becomes she said, then we do not forget the pronoun. She was happy. This is the indirect form, the indirect speech. She said she was happy. And that was in the present tense before now changes to past tense. Because the reporting verb here is in the past tense. That's present tense changing to past tense. Then past tense. If we have a sentence like, I cooked the food. Don't forget your quotes. Tade said, this is the reporting verb, past tense. So we change the verb here to past participle. The reporting verb is in the past tense. So we know that the verb here will have to what we change. So this is past tense. From past tense, it changes to what past participle. So this becomes Tade said that he had cooked the food. From past tense to past participle or past perfect tense. Tade said that he had cooked the food from past tense. Then next you say next one we have here is in the present perfect tense that will change to past perfect tense. We use an example. So we use an example of present perfect that will change to past perfect. So if we have, he said, this time let's put it first. I have eaten. Reporting the past tense. Present perfect will change to past perfect. So this will become, he said that. Our pronoun will also change. He had eaten. So the pronoun will also change. And then the verb too, from the present perfect to the past perfect, said that he had eaten. Here, direct speech, indirect speech, it becomes the past perfect. Then future tense changes to past tense. So if we are to have, let's see, tomorrow, she said, reporting the past tense. So we we'll change the verb here from the future tense to the past tense. That means will will become would. She said that she would see me tomorrow. The will here changes to would. 
present continuous change, changing to the past continuous tense, we have So last said, I am going home. Reporting verb past tense. So we know that the verb here will have to change from the present continuous to past continuous. That will become, so last said that he was going home. Then past continuous to past perfect continuous. If we were to have, let's see, say, I was cooking the food. They said, Dollar. Past tense. So we know that this will change. So last said that he had been cooking the food. And lastly, we said the past perfect tense doesn't change. It remains past perfect tense. If we have Before 9 a.m. Had arrived is in the past perfect. So there's nothing to change this one to. It remains the same. She said she had arrived before. 9 a.m. So, like I said, reporting verb is very important. If it's in the present tense, we do not have a problem. Whatever the tense is in the speech, it remains the same, or in the quote, it remains the same. But if it's in the past tense, changes are made like this. From the present tense, you change the tense to past tense. Past tense becomes past participle. Present perfect becomes past perfect. Future tense changes to past tense. Present continuous changes to past continuous. Past continuous becomes past perfect continuous, while the past perfect tense stays the same. These are what examples illustrating these changes in the verbs when it comes to changing direct to indirect speech. Then apart from this one, if the sentence is a universal truth or an idiom, You do not look at the reporting verb. If in the sentence what we are talking about is a universally accepted fact or is an idiom or proverb that's already laid, laid down, we do not need to watch to change the we do not need to change the verbs in the in the in quotes so if we have for example my father said the sun rises in the east This is what universally accepted. We all know the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So if you want to change this one from direct to indirect speech, we do not what, bother with the word reporting verb anymore. Understandable, we said if the reporting verb is in the past tense, we change the verb in quotes. But since this is what universally accepted as a fact, we do not what, bother with it. Though this doesn't become the sun rose, it still remains what rises. My father said that the sun rises in the east. My father said that the sun rises in the east. We leave the verb like that. Or if it is a proverb or idiom, 
For example, he who loves last. Loves best. You also what? You leave the tense like that because this is already what laid down. Yeah. Proverbs are already there. That's the way they are. We do not want to change it because we want to convert from direct to indirect. We still leave it this way. He who loves last, loves best. Or if the sentence is always true. Or, for example, we cannot live without A. This is a truth. So if you are changing it, if this comes in direct speech and you want to change it, you can leave the word, the tense the same way. We cannot leave. There is no time that you can live without A. Or if what you are saying, by the time, even though it has been said in the past, but at the time you are reporting the speech, it is still true. You can still leave the word, the sentence like that. You can leave with the verb. For example, the movie is interesting. As at the time you watched it, it was interesting. If you are now still telling somebody the movie is still interesting, so if you are changing it from direct to indirect, you can still what leave the tense the same way. Even if the reporting verb is in the past tense, since this is still true, you can report it this way. No need to now change is to what was. So these are what exceptions when the reporting verb is in the past tense. We are said for if the reporting verb is in the present tense, you leave the tense in the, in quote. You leave it that way. But if it is now in the past tense, changes have to what take place, like present tense becoming past tense, past tense to past perfect, like that, like that, we change. The exceptions now is if it is a universally accepted truth, if it's a proverb or an idiom, or it is still what true as at the time we were reporting it, that's our reporting verbs. Then where's that express time or place? They also change when we convert from direct to indirect speech. Words that express time or place. We watch out for them when converting from direct speech to indirect speech because they do not remain the same. For example, now, yeah, I forgot the head to it again. Direct. Indirect speech. Now, indirect speech changes to what? Then, in indirect speech. If you are changing it from now, you change it to then. Then a go becomes before. Today becomes that day. Yesterday becomes the previous day or the day before. Anyhow, you want to what you want to use it. The previous day or the day before. Tomorrow becomes the next day if you are changing from what direct to indirect speech then last night the previous night or the night before the night before then we also have next week or next month or next year Next, as they be the following month, or the following year, or the following week, as he, as the case may be. Then this one is for time, for place. You have this becoming that. Where's that indicate or express place? You have this becoming that. These becoming those here becomes what there 
So if this word comes in direct speech and you want to what convert, take note, they'll also what change. They do not remain like that. A good example, my friend came yesterday. Oma, he said, this now become, he said, his friend had come the previous day. Take note. He said his friend had come the previous day or the day before. Look at it. The reporting verb said is in the past tense. So since this the verb in quote is in past tense, we change it to what past perfect. And then yesterday becomes the previous day. All these are things that we, little things that we look out for to be able to effectively change from direct to indirect speech. It's highly words that express what time and place. Yesterday becomes the day before. Then we also look at what questions. If we look at the form of the the sentence in quotes, if it is a question or if it is a command or it is a request. You are permitted to change the reporting verb. So if it's a question, you can convert questions to from direct to indirect speech. So if it is a question, it's okay for you to change the reporting verb to asked, inquired, demanded. Even if the question given to you is said, you can change it to what to ask if you are what converting from direct speech to indirect speech. You can change the reporting verb to ensure that we know it was a question in the direct speech. Then, if the question is also a WH question, that means if it begins with what, where, when we do not use what that to join them instead we repeat this one for example where do you live ask the boy so since it's a wh question where do not bring that Instead, you repeat what where as a joining conjunction. So to change this on, it becomes the boy asked me where I lived. So there's no need to repeat what that anymore. We say the boy asked where I live. You use where as the word the joining conjunction. Tango, I know said before that that is even optional. But if you have WH questions, repeat the word WH word as the joining conjunction. Then if, this, if the question is not starting with a WH, probably starting with an auxiliary verb, you now introduce conjunctions if or whether. We use if or whether. If the question begins with in an auxiliary verb, so for example, now will you go to the farm? She said, I said the reporting verb is said, but if you want to convert, you can change it to ask to indicate that the direct speech was a question. So this could become she asked if you can use if or you use whether. That's if the question begins with an auxiliary verb. 
it begins with a wh word we use you you repeat the word as the joining conjunction so she asked if i would go to the farm we are still following the rules reporting verb is in the past tense the verb in quote to will also would change from will to would will you go to the farm she said she asked if i would go to the farm so if she, if it had been will you go to the farm today this would have been she asked if i would go to the farm that day so we still maintain the rules these are for questions then for commands The reporting verb could be ordered, insisted, instructed. So you can change reporting verbs to what verbs like this to indicate that what the direct speech had been a command. If you have exclamations. You have reporting verse like exclaimed. If it were a wish, you now have what wished, prayed, hoped. Sentences like they will live long. So if you want to change it from directly in there, you can say what wish or he prayed or he hoped. Because that's more like what a wish. He wants us to what to live long. Then requests. You have begged. Appealed to. Requested. These are what reporting verbs that you can use to indicate that the direct speech had been a request, a wish, an exclamation, a command, or a question. So it's permitted for you to what to change the reporting verb, no matter what was given to you in the question. Then we also have words that change, which is what modal auxiliary verbs if you have modal auxiliary verbs in quotes how how do they change modal auxiliary verbs such as could might should they do not change Ought to. They do not change in sentences. So even if the reporting verb is in the past tense, and then in quotes we have these modal auxiliary verbs, you leave them that way. Could, might, should, ought to. They remain the same, even if the reporting verb is in the past tense. They must. Changes to had to. For example, if you have, I must respect my brother. Tina said. The must here becomes hard to if you want to change it to indirect speech. So that will give you Tina said. You look at pronouns. I ah, here becomes what she had to. The most here changes to had to respect her brother. I must respect my brother, Tina said. Because Tina said she had to respect her brother. Then if you now have must not. 
changes to was not must positive becomes had to but must not if it's not negative it doesn't change to had not it becomes what was not so if you have i must not tell lies said look this doesn't become Luke said he had not or he had to not tell lies instead it becomes Luke said that he was not to tell lies so it's not Luke said that he he had to not tell lies must in the positive because had to or if it's negative must not it becomes was not to so i must not tell lies said luke because luke said that he was not to tell lies those are what we look out for when we are converting from the direct to indirect speech you watch out for pronouns pronouns what change i here became he depending on what the what you are looking at it could be he or she so you watch out for pronouns then watch out for reporting verbs like i said reporting verbs in the present tense you don't have a problem the verb in quote remains the same but if the reporting verb is now in the past tense you now have to what change from present to past from past to past perfect from future to past from present perfect to past perfect like that like that then you also watch out for words that express time or place and then you watch out for what modal auxiliary verbs that do not change based on that let's answer some questions gotten from o3 school jump app questions on indirect speech or reported speech First one we have here, I have seen your book. The teacher informed me informed me that dash they now want you to change it to indirect speech now. So the options we have he has seen my book. B, we have, I have seen your book. C, we have, he had seen my book. And D, we have, he had been seeing my book. So I have seen your book. The teacher informed me. So informed there is the word reporting verb, which is what past tense. So that tells you that what here the verb has the word change. He has seen my book. No, this is still what present tense. I have seen your book. You just what repeated it. It is not in indirect speech. He had seen my book. So both the tense is in order, the pronouns are also in order. I here changes to what to he, even the your as well has changed. The teacher informed me that he had seen my book. That would be the correct way of changing this to indirect speech. Then we also have don't come to school tomorrow. Don't come to school tomorrow. The headmaster told the pupils. So, 
A, we have don't come to school tomorrow. Not to come to school tomorrow. Not to come to school the next day. And lastly, not coming to school the next day. The next day. Question says, don't come to school tomorrow. So we know tomorrow has to what change. It's a word indicating time. And it changes to what? The next day. The headmaster told the pupils not to come to school the next day. This is a repetition. And here we still have what? Tomorrow. If you're not careful, you will have picked this without what? Changing the tomorrow. So let's watch out for words like that. Are you going to stop here? So is the question now. She asked. This capital letter. She asked dash A. Whether I was going to stop here. B. If I was going to stop there. C. If I were going to stop there. And D, was I going to stop here? So are you going to stop here is the question. And the question doesn't begin with a WH. Instead, it begins with an auxiliary verb. So we know you use if or whether, the same thing. But here, we'll not take this because of what here. Here has to what change. So since it remains the same here, we won't take this answer. It becomes B. She asked if I was going to stop there. Here changes to there. Then number four. The teacher asked me if. If dash. A we have. I have done. my homework b i had done my homework c i am doing my homework D. Have I done my homework? So answer here becomes ask me if I had done my homework. We're dealing with the past tense. Past tense always changes to past perfect. So the teacher asks me if I had done my homework. We also have Toby says he dash his parents daily. B loves, C loved, 
The D is loving. We are dealing with the present tense. So the verb remains in the present tense. And since this is singular, we use the word a singular verb. So this becomes Toby says he loves his parents dearly. So that's that for direct and indirect speech or reported speech. Thank you for watching. Do well to download the app and answer more questions.